don't know if that is coming out. I didn't have the phone ready and I ran out and the phone has been going on and off because it's not under my control. They're trying to interrupt the videos. I only have to move it slightly with my hand and I'm not touching anything wrong and it goes off. This is the matrix and this is, a d apart from the plane, this is the dead street that has now been dead for about 15-20 minutes which is not normal or natural in this fake matrix actor um, technologically control street where everyone always comes out driving their cars, not one car I have not come out here at any time without the cars not coming they do not want to be on video not at all. And I'm just saying this because it is so true. Of course, before and after is hard to prove. That's what I say. If you know something, you see it every day of your life or every day of the last three years in the case of the Matrix showing itself. Um, and then you turn your little video, your mobile phone video on and decide for the first or one of the few times to come outside your door and film the plane and show the street. And this is just dead. They are completely in hiding. The, the minute I come inside and, and put this mobile phone away, because they know I will, because they know I don't have it on me, they know I'm not mobile, like the mobile phone, they know that I only do this when I can and under great difficulty. Um, even now I'm freezing out here and I have um, felt pain in my chest um, which happens occasionally. This is because um, you know my guard is down, my vibration is low because I'm stressed. Um, And this is just completely dead. <clears throat> Look at this. Not one car. This is how a street should be. This is how a side street should be. You know, just with cars outside their houses. But instead, it is not normally like this. There are always cars coming down, pulling in, um, people getting out, sometimes just driving and not even stopping. Just And this is a dead-end street. Also, if I go down the end, right down to the corner just down there, um, there will always be a bus coming up in front of me, sometimes two or three at a time in recent times. And this also has something that was never happened before, you know, a few years when the Matrix opened up, came out of hiding and exposed itself completely, more or less. Of course it exposed itself but I didn't understand it or why it was happening, but now I do of course. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, even the buses, if I went down there, I bet if I went down there now there would be none, but I have not come out of here and, I'd, and I usually go down there most days if I can. Um, <clears throat> there will always be a bus pulling up a loud bus. Also the transport is louder than usual. Now I will come back inside but the phone's been going on and off. The phone's been going on and off all the time and I know this video is very even more unprofessional than usual because at least if I'm sitting down talking I haven't got the camera going all over the place and look it's the best I can do. I don't know how to do this. Coming inside You know, I'll have to watch out for that wet floor there, which I will have to, obviously, i put a towel on top of it. I'll have to clean it up. Um, so I'll close that door, but then that will make it hard for me to get out if a plane comes. See, I'm just no good at this. Here I am. There is Putty. There is Big Boy Cat. 
his original name was Diesel by his owner that lives um, not next door but next door to that so he's very close by it's all a block of um, you know uh, low rent um, housing department um, matrix controlled um, places that are provided by the matrix for my comfort and security in my old age which is so nice you know that they should provide this and actually if it really was the true story or the full picture it would be all right but um because it is provided and like this mobile phone and everything else in this matrix earth world it is not under my control so basically um what on the surface like everything on the all that glitters is not gold all that is on the surface is not gold or is not what it really appears to be because yes you know you could have a situation where you appear to have a good deal but underneath it what appears to be um, a comfortable residence at a reasonable rent provided for you because you are yes a limited human being um, all is not what it seems because you really are trapped in a street in a suburb and even in a house that is technologically matrix controlled in every way the people are matrix controlled around you the house itself um, is a technological device really everything centers around a real human being so everything that appears um, to be okay is not just like my friend or used to be my old friend still is because it has the memories of my big boy cat or oh, my leg just went crackle then you know what do you expect when this very room is technologically controlled <clears throat> this very kitchen is full of technology big boy just moved his leg up as we pointed out before that means an acknowledgement that what I say is close to correct is that right big boy Come on, is that right? Come on. Come on, don't fight it. Yeah, he looked at me. Don't fight it. Come on, show them. I know you want to. You're frightened to, aren't you? Are you frightened to? Okay. Moved his paw. He's frightened to. And this could be so of, you know, I would be frightened myself if it wasn't also <clears throat> past the point of me doing anything about it. In other words, you know, it's not like I can, um, I can be frightened, but um, it's not like I can be frightened and say, hey, I will... Um, hide in the matrix like everyone else because I'm frightened I am not given that choice so I couldn't say what I would do if I was given that choice so for some reason some of us are not even given that choice and that's probably because I'm guessing that we are amongst the last of the real humans that's my guess <clears throat> I certainly feel very human and 
you feel weak and suppressed in this artificial reality. And yet that is not how it's meant to be. And that is, and the reality that when I go outside with the mobile phone, that, that, um, that when I go outside with a mobile phone, that the dog is making a lot of noise in the background there to, to sidetrack my conversation here. <clears throat> you can't hear it, but that's what he's doing. Um, because he's of the matrix, he's technologically controlled or possessed, whatever you want to use. It doesn't matter because the being that possesses these animals and people are of a technological nature. See the cat move then. This is just once again showing you how the cat operates. Look, I read it like a book, but to an outsider it probably seems not valid. But if you were me and you actually understood this and you actually just know because you're, you're, um, you're actually in contact with, um, it's a bit like if you know a person really well, you know, you can, um, you know, you can pick up much more than someone that just first meets them. Um, now, these videos look stupid because the dog wants to go outside. Um, this whole place, do you know that, that this dog's owner, that is a close relative of mine, but I'm not going to give too much information because as they don't like the dog being on the video, they also probably don't wish for themselves to be um, on the video, which I understand and that's their privilege and their right. Now, um, where was I? The, the, um, oh, see, I lost my train of thought. The Matrix was successful again. I've come here. This is just ridiculous. It's just the Matrix getting its upper hand in every way, and it's obviously making me agitated. Um, The dog, mm. come back to Kitty. <sighs> this is the matrix. This is the God entity and everyone around. Um, now, I personally think this is just my own personal thought and it may or may not be so. Some things I know to be so, I've said this before, so I don't consider it an opinion. But other things I think are possibly so, but I'm not 100% sure at this point. At some point you sometimes find things out to be correct or you might change your mind. Or I have real, I've really rarely, over the last three years, I haven't really changed my mind about too much at all. In fact, usually... What I've already thought has really only been added to where I find out something new or I get a, a new, um, how shall we say, you, you, you already think something or you know it, and but then you find out that it's not the whole thing. So it's not a putty just got up there. See how he's like acknowledging that? So I've really only just continually added to what he moved his paw. See, I hope I'm getting him in. He moved his paw because, see, I should have the phone to where I can see him, but as usual, they've got me in a mess. <clears throat> because I can't film myself and the what's in front of me without having the phone on a different setting. It's all, and I'm not used to doing this. He moved his foot again. So naturally, the video looks rather... Bumpy and amateurish, and me looking as usual a foolish human or a foolish person, whatever. But, um, and I can't explain these things in words very well. 
I know them in my own thinking. I know them in my own thinking. So I usually don't actually completely dismiss information or what I think about things. Usually I find that I'm just adding to it. Most of the time this has been my experience over the last three, three and a half years. Um, so I might, um, you know, like in the past I might have talked about different things as the information came to me. Oh. And and um, use the wrong terminology, even though I had still had the same concept. In other words, it's it's like as I've said before, you can talk about the matrix God entity moved his paw. But you know, I may or may not put the correct name on this being, because it will depend on what name is. Um, used at a time as I say this this being is a chameleon um, an illusionist um, so it doesn't matter it's just important to realize that this being has been around for a very 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 long time since the beginning and therefore um, it is the same it's a bit like a person changing their clothes but it's still the same person. You know, you can change your appearance at different times to suit a fashion or, or your whatever, but you're still the same person. You're just presenting a different demeanour. You can even change your name. That's right. Some people change their name. and Most of our names are given to us. Um, but either way, I'm making no sense here at all and I don't think I'm going to be able to hold this phone much longer. My hand is sore and the phone is so sensitive I know it'll go off. Um, yeah, I, that's what the cat acknowledged that I can't do this really. Um, I was hoping to get some planes, I don't know why, um, outside. Um, look, this is, um, I've already had Big Boy Cat on the video and he comes in at this time usually to say hello. He moved his paw. I don't even know if I'm getting him there. Um, yeah, if you'd like to buy um, some supermarket items, um, I will sell them to you. Would you like some, let me see, would you like some cookies? Would you like some tissues? Would you like some milk? Mm, the milk's already open. Sorry about that. Uh, what would you like, Putty? Putty said he knows what he wants. He wants some chicken. He wants some of that dog's chicken. That's his favourite is barbecue chicken. Isn't it, Putty? Is barbecue chicken your favourite um, food? Oh. Putty, come on. Is barbecue chicken your favourite food? Come on. It is, isn't it? Is there something else you like better than that? Because I could get it for you. I always thought it was your favourite. Mm. Oh dear, I do not feel very well at all. Mm. Something, um... Something about this reality that actually makes me quite ill, even when I think about it, even though I'm living in it, it makes me sick. This reality makes me sick, doesn't it, Putty? Makes me psychologically sick, physically sick. Yeah, and sick even just when I think about it. Even if I look at you, if I really think too hard about it, if I, if I break down my illusion, which even I find hard to do, with the cat, with big boy cat, that I've known for about 13 years, 
He's probably actually about 15 years old, probably I'm guessing now when I think of it, because he would have been around a few years before I met him, before he made his presence known to me, before he introduced himself to me, you could say. This, of course, is not... Not really big boy cat. This is, um, and yes, I'm starting to feel a bit ill, but look. There's a movie called, an old movie called Imitation of Life. And the Matrix loves to put the titles in its movies. And it just occurred to me, this old movie that I've seen, everything in this Matrix, or most in this Matrix, apart from a limited minority, is an imitation of life. An imitation of life. An imitation of life. The imitation of life doesn't like to accept that it's an imitation of life. The imitation wants to be accepted as real. But it is merely an imitation of real life. Sometimes a very good imitation. Sometimes very glorious and glamorized in its own way. A little movement there. Yes, sometimes very glor glorified imitation of life. But artificial and not real, nevertheless, in any way. Big Boy just did a little jilt then. Well, you probably didn't catch it on the camera and I'm not even sure if I'm getting him in because I can't see. I need to turn the camera around the with the switch but this camp this mobile phone that is supposed to be so good um has also a life of its own because everything in this reality is not ours and everything is an imitation big boy is moving and showing you when he does all that particularly the more movement that is um it's almost a celebration because you must remember that this imitation form of life still considers itself to be um, very advanced and very superior. And their whole purpose is to imitate real life and take it over and glorify it in its own image, in a technological image. So that then is um, showing that this matrix god entity and its um, relatives, its technological relatives, I can't hold the phone, are able to take anything and make it into their own and make it appear to be better. So then the Matrix God shows that it is superior somehow because it is imitating real life but glamorizing it to where it appears to be better. But it is an imitation. Everything in the matrix, apart from a minority of humans, I'm following Big Boy here, everything in the matrix, apart from a minority of real life that is in an artificial world, everything in the matrix the people, all other life forms, most other life forms. Any life form that cannot reproduce naturally 
with the opposite other life form is an artificial life form. Or, if you want, like the movie, a very presentable, very glamorized version, imitation of real life. My big boy cat here. He is he's trying to get away. He doesn't normally try to get away from me. He is an imitation of a real life form. I've got the shadow on him, sorry. He is so much like my real, original, big boy cat that I knew, that it took me literally um, about one, two, three, well, I did not realise until after I spoke with another fellow human being, you know, maybe, you know, maybe a year ago, and they mentioned that their cat was also um, not their original animal. Now, at the time, I took it to be so, but I did not immediately pick up the correlation between that and the animals that I know. Because <sighs> back to me, hmm. because because to acknowledge that that there has been a transference of the reality in a way. That sounded fancy, and I am trying to impress here, so I am exaggerating. But when I say transference, there is there has been transference taking place. Transference. Big boy is moving and coming. Transference taking place of life forms real life can be replaced with a very with the finest imitations that it can produce don't ask me how all these things are done how would i know i'm not a technological being and like i say i merely observe <sighs> And all I can do is say what I observe and what I know to be real in this fake reality. Because even though it's not a real reality, it's not a real life reality, it is still real in the sense that the cat is still there. I'm still here, but I'm different to the cat. I'm a different life form to the cat. Well, you'd say, of course you are, because you're a person or a human and the cat is a cat. Well, yes, but actually that's not really so also, because I think all, even an animal, if it is a real life as opposed to an imitation of life, 
But of course, if you're living in an imitation world, which is what we really live in, because a matrix is an artificial imitation world. It's only natural, ha, 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 it's only natural that an artificial world would be populated by artificial life or imitation because the whole thing is an imitation of life as the movie says the movie is telling you that their movie and the actors and this world is an imitation of life and that's exactly what it is it's an imitation of life there is some and so really if you reverse it round it appears that um that most of what appears to be real is really an imitation, and that which probably appears inferior and ridiculous and less um, is actually the only real life in this reality. That's because the imitation world um, is ruled by an imitation technological being that therefore, you know, wants its reality to be accepted as the real reality it's like saying this may be an imitation of life but it is better it looks the same there it is just as good as real life in fact it is better because um you know they endeavored to present it as better you know that which i admire is an imitation if i admire the demigods they appear to be better they are the superior um human representations on this earth but they are really not the finest human representations on this earth they are really the finest representations of an imitation world of the technological god that has made an imitation world in its image not so much even in its image and there again i don't understand this because naturally i can't see the true reality or the full true reality but um you know the demigods are representations of the um god entity um, good night putty i'll see you later there they are you probably can't see them through the thing Hello. Hello. We got a visitor. Hello. I hope he doesn't mind being on the video. I wasn't intending that. <laughs> but he was. <laughs> we put you on the animal video, will we? Yes. He said he's very happy with that. <laughs> Good night. As you can see, I am actually um, quite stressed by that, really, because um, I wasn't, you know, that is um, a neighbour. Now, some neighbours, you know, everything is of the matrix. But... Some, if you don't um, experience any um, animosity or any um, negativity from particular people, um, you know, I choose to play it that they are, you know, just in the dark. Um, people 
Now, this may or may not be so, but, you know, this is part of the confusion of being in a matrix. Most of the time I'm not terribly in doubt these days. Um about who is who or what but it it's still a very um it's still a game movie world reality in a way um so it is not possible really to always know who is for real and when I say that you know because you could you know even with the imitation of life scenario that I think is the reality you know oh 